earlier, we talked about how working in live view can be a great feature in that it can assist with framing when using a tripod. But what happens if you are trying to get a shot at an extreme angle? What if you are taking a photo from an animal's perspective or maybe a group photo where the camera is set very high and out of reach? Because of the camera's position, the monitor will be difficult to see. Your camera has the ability to overcome these obstacles by wirelessly pairing it to your smartphone or tablet. This will allow you to see exactly what the camera sees and take photographs even at difficult angles. In order to use your smartphone as a remote for the camera, you will first need to install the EOS Remote app from either the App Store or Google Play, depending on your device. It is also a good idea to reset the camera and make sure the lens focus mode switch is set to AF. Refer to the camera's setup menu. In the third setup tab, scroll down to Wi-Fi. Press set to enter the menu, then select enable. Press set again to confirm. Next, highlight Wi-Fi function and press set. If this is your first time in the menu, you will need to register a nickname for the camera. This will be the name you look for when you connect your phone to the wireless network. Select OK and press the Q button to enter the alphanumeric menu. Use the multi-controller and set button to make your selection. Once you are finished, press the menu button and select OK to confirm. Now select connect to smartphone. For this demonstration, we will be choosing camera access point mode, which will allow us to control the camera directly from your handheld device. Select OK. Choose Easy Connection and select OK to confirm. Your camera should now show an encryption key on the monitor. Set the camera aside for a moment and go into your phone's wireless network menu. Highlight the correct network name and use the encryption key on the camera's monitor as your network password. Close the wireless connection list and open up the EOS remote app. Make sure camera connection is selected and choose Canon EOS 70D from the menu. Back to the camera, you should see a connection request on the LCD monitor. Press Set to accept. The wireless settings have now been configured. If you would like to save this information under a customized name, press Set. Use the Delete button to clear the current name. Use the Q button along with the multi-controller to enter new information. Press Menu once you have finished, then select OK. You should now see the connection screen, which you can leave open until you are finished shooting remotely. On your wireless device, back out of the connection screen. On the main menu, select Remote Shooting. Now, we will go over a few of the controls available with remote shooting. In the app's default setup, there is only one button shown. Use this to focus and fire the shutter release. If you prefer to separate the shutter function from the AF button, you can do so by activating it from the main menu. Tap the home icon at the top left of the screen. Tap the gear icon and select Show AF button. Now, go back into the remote shooting screen. You will see the AF button below the shutter release. Tap the screen to select a subject to focus on. If the camera is able to register it, a doubled frame box will appear. If it can't recognize the subject, the camera will display all 31 focus points. When you press the focus button, the automatically selected point or points will appear in green. If focus is not achieved, the point will turn orange. Exposure settings can be adjusted by pressing this button. Depending on which mode the camera is in, shutter speed, aperture, exposure compensation, and ISO may be adjusted from this screen. For more information, briefly press the focus button and then tap the info button at the top of the screen. Tapping the info button cycles through different information screens similar to those in live view. Take some time familiarizing yourself with this new feature. Practice making setting changes, focusing, and shooting on your wireless device. Think of places and situations where your photography can benefit from wireless remote shooting. Once initial setup has taken place, using the EOS remote is a fast and easy way to get photos that were once difficult or impossible to reach.